So here we have a, uh, looks like an uncirculated Austro-Hungary, uh, Austro-Hungary, Austro-Hungary. Uh, um, there you've got your uh, German on one side. Actually, that's the Hungarian side, and German on the other side. Um, I've done this country before. This is a much better example. So um, you see the crest on both sides, too is absolutely fascinating um, and the lady is the same queen I guess uh, governing both lands or, or something like that but um, this is made out of a uh, it feels like just a regular paper it almost feels like a wax paper but it's definitely a special kind of paper it's not like your normal paper um, in the back you have uh, probably a very important figure in uh, Austro-Hungarian life. Maybe it's a monarch. I'm not really sure. I can't read German or Hungarian. Um, this is one kroner. It says it right there. Una krona. And uh, they're numbered and it's got a date on it. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool for a country that's been dead for a hundred years. You know, still have uh, stuff like this hanging around. This is uh 1916 series of the banknotes so this is uh, right before the end which is absolutely stinking fascinating um, if you have uh, wisdom or insight on um, banknotes from Austro-Hungaria uh, feel free to let me know I don't really know a lot about this I didn't bother to look it up I'm just sitting in my backyard doing banknote reviews because it's a nice day and I feel like it so um, but it is fascinating. So let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. See you on the flip side. I'm out. Yeah. Um,